Hello, uh, welcome to our webinar on BOSS AI software development session. Uh, I'm Thomas Choi from BOSS Semiconductor. I'm leading AI software development here in BOSS. I hope you have a better understanding today uh, based on my uh, explanation. Okay, let's get started. As you can see the screen, we do have five developed verticals. The first vertical is AI model compiler development, which is the most fun part of our AI software development. It includes both front-end, back-end processes. The front-end development is to create a framework to optimize and to configure AI model compilation from high-level intermediate uh, representations to lower-level executable formats, which is specific to our MPU architecture. The back-end development mainly uh, manages data movement and generates executable model binaries. Uh, that ensures efficient operation and performance. The second vertical is AI model development and performance optimization. Here, we develop AI models and optimize them for maximum performance using our own SDK. I will explain about this later on. As you can see, an example of the placement of AI model operators for the best performance on the screen, we can fully utilize MPU computing resources as such. We do apply various techniques for uh, the optimal placement of AI model operators, uh, like uh, multi head attention, feed forward networks, matrix multiplication and convolution on a grid of computing cores using graph theory based placement algorithms. The third vertical is runtime and tensor IO API development to load AI model binaries and get the output result of model inference. The development of runtime APIs enables the execution of models on MPUs from the host side. And the development of tensor IO APIs facilitates efficient input and output data transfer between host and MPU device size, ensuring smooth and effective model inference. The fourth vertical uh, is quantization algorithms and PTQ QAT tool development. This involves the developing algorithm uh, that reduces uh, the precision of AI model weights and activation supporting ONX quantization operator formats. This quantization is for improving inference efficiency without compromising any model accuracy. We also provide accuracy debugging tools that help maintaining the original model accuracy. The fifth vertical is the AI model custom ops kernel development. This includes developing core components like data movement and compute kernels. These are very crucial for executing AI models on a grid of computing cores with extreme performance, as you know. These kernels are implemented in C++ and hooked up to Python by using PyBind to ensure adaptability and flexibility and compatibility with the various systems and applications. These five verticals collectively ensure that our software stack and tools make users experience development efficiency and high performance of AI model development and deployment on our MP. Next is our detailed overview of the full MPU SOC software stack uh, in this slide. Our objective is to develop a comprehensive software stack that ensures automotive grade AI model performance and optimal computing resource utilization. Safety OS running on the Safety Island provides a containerized service environment for uh, user space services. It allows for uh, the isolation and efficient management of services that operate in the user space enhancing safety and performance. Our MPU SOC is automatic grade, and it is composed of two separate functional domains. Each of them are called uh, safety domain and main name domains. The MPU belongs to the main name domain. The safety domain provides a frame level MPU inference function monitoring. If a malfunction is detected, it is reported to the safety domain with the corresponding frame ID, which is sent from the host side. And from a system service perspective, both system level and MPU level monitoring services are provided. The system monitoring service monitors the overall system health and performance to ensure that all system components are functioning correctly. And the MPU monitoring service specifically tracks the performance and health of the MPU. This service provides detailed insights and metrics related to MPU operations. The AI model binary consists of ops binary and data movement binary. The ops binary contains the operations which are essential for executing AI model tasks, and the data movement binary handles the efficient data movement. The generated AI model binary and the weights data are loaded onto the MPU by runtime API, and this MPU API is called loader. And then this loader is running on the host side. 
Input images uh, for inference and the inference results are delivered and collected by you using Tensor IO APIs. All of these APIs are available in our MPU AI model SDK. Besides the support of running AI models, we also provide a command line interface library. This can be used to monitor system level source usage like a PCIe DRAM usage and MPU inference performance. This allows developers to access the statistical data and metrics about both the system and MPU in real time. The control formula that runs on the MPU is generated by the compiler and it is specific to a model to be run. So it should be loaded along with the model binary to get MPU ready for the inference. The control formula initializes the MPU and the system level control like reset and clock control, and also it handles inter core data communications. This comprehensive software stack is designed to ensure the highest level of system performance, safety, and efficiency for AI model inference. Next, let me explain our AI model development SDK a bit more in detail in this slide. Our SDK is designed to provide an easy to use development environment for the easiest and fastest AI model deployment. The most important component in the SDK is the model compiler, of course. It is composed of two parts, front-end and back-end. The front part is mainly for converting users' pre-trained models to our MPU-specific intermediate representation and its graph level optimization. And the backend part is for the compute kernel and data movement kernel binary generation of the optimized graph for efficient execution of model operations. Besides the model compiler, the SDK includes target reference models, quantization accuracy tuning tools, and performance profiling tools. Specifically for efficient and effective model performance optimization, we provide a four performance profiling tools. Reportify, Performance Analyzer, Perf UI, and Route UI, along with an accuracy simulator. Let me explain uh, each of those tools. Reportify is a visualization tool that uh, shows how optimally all operators are placed on a grid of computing cores and where each op uh, reads input from uh, writes output to. Performance Analyzer supports the performance analysis of the model to identify bottlenecks and optimization opportunities. And Perf UI is the full version of Performance Analyzer with a visualization support of all the performance metrics, such as number of cycles and memory bandwidth. Route UI is a tool for visualizing the data movement among ops while they are processed. As I already introduced, for real-time management purposes, we also provide the CLI-based system and MPU monitoring APIs. Our MPU can be used either as a standalone unit or as an accelerator. In the case of being used as an accelerator, it is connected to a host uh, via PCI Gen interface. Using these monitoring APIs from the host side, the status of resource usage and system health can be monitored in real time. As explained, our comprehensive AI model development SDK provides all the necessary tools and interfaces for efficient AI model development, optimization, and deployment. By leveraging the provided advanced compilers, quantization tools, profilers, simulators, and debuggers, developers can ensure their model to achieve peak performance and reliability. Next, we introduce our all-around programming model for MPU software development. For this, there are two distinct software stacks, and they are called Buda and Metallium each. The Buda focuses on generality and ease of deployment, and the Metallium focuses on extreme performance. Uh, these mean that the purpose of using uh, is different for both of the stacks. The Buda is a compiler-based approach. This approach allows for the quick deployment of many AI models with minimal overhead. A pre-trained model is input to the compiler, which then converts it to a model binary that can be run on our MPU, uh, showing uh, optimized performance. The compiler can handle AI models from various frameworks, including PyTorch, TensorFlow, and others. On the other hand, the Metallium is a bare metal approach. This approach is suited for AI models that require relatively high performance and utilization. It can be achieved by using complete hardware control APIs given for uh, MPU hardware. It allows for the development of custom operations and models, providing low-level access to the hardware using C++. In summary, our all-around programming model ensures that we cater to both general purpose and high-performance AI model development. By offering both a compiler-based and bare-metal approach, 
We provide the flexibility needed for our various use cases, ensuring optimal performance and ease of deployment. And lastly, I'd like to walk you through of our AI model compilation floor for pre-trained models. Our goal is to develop the most flexible and compatible front and backend AI model compiler to achieve the world's best model inference performance. There are a total of seven steps in the compilation floor. The first step is for the support of various machine learning frameworks, such as PyTorch, TensorFlow, and OLX, that can be used to develop AI models. We do have an in-house ML framework like PyTorch, and it is called PyBuddha. Of course, it can be used to develop models too. The second step is the support of a graph compiler. A trained model from the machine learning framework is passed to the graph compiler, which first maps a specific format of operators to a proprietary format. It then optimizes the computational graph of the model by fusing and decomposing ops, preparing it for a further compilation stages. The third step is the support of model operations programming model. Given the shape of a grid of computing cores, the compiler finds the best ops model for each of the ops on the graph to be placed on the grid. This information is going to be used to generate MPU-specific target binaries. The first step is the support of high-level compute and data movement kernel compilation. The data movement compiler focuses on optimizing how data is transferred within the system. It generates a data movement binary, which is crucial for efficient data handling during model execution for inference. The high-level kernel compiler works on transforming high-level operations into a low-level presentation. It functions as a source-to-source -source compiler, including loop optimization to enhance performance. The fifth and sixth steps are for low-level kernel compilations. This is compilation flow is composed of two different compilation steps. One is for RISC-V, and the other is for special function processing units, which is our model operator compute and vector processing engine. Once the kernels are optimized, the LLM compiler generates RISC-V binaries. These binaries are essential for running the model on specific hardware architectures. Simultaneously, uh, the SAPU compiler generates binaries for a specialized processing unit for computing ops and data preparation for the ops. These units handle specific computational tasks more efficiently than uh, general purpose processors. The resulting binaries from both the LLVM and SAPU compilers can be deployed on both MPU device or simulator by runtime software. This hardware is designed to execute the compiled models with optimal performance, leveraging the efficient and effective use of compiled binaries and data movement strategies. Through this comprehensive compilation flow, we ensure that AI models trained in various ML frameworks are converted into a compatible model binary, and it's optimized performance for uh, specialized MPU hardware. This is all for today. I'd like to thank you very much for your time and attention. I hope to get back to you soon with a more interesting AI software topic. Thank you.